hi guys so today we are trying to solve your CA foundation accounts paper the question paper of December 2020 attempt a lot of students have sent me requests so now it is time so I will make a series of videos solving each and every question including the logics and how to present it in the exam so let's begin I'm starting with question number 1a December 2020 accounts exam now 1a is about true and false so I'll tell you the answer and the logics so let us see 1a first question admission of a new partner the profit and loss on revaluation account is transferred to all partners in their new profit sharing ratio answer is false first next is the logic why is the answer false why is the answer false because when revaluation happens whether it's a profit or it's a loss the whole purpose of revaluation is to share those profits and losses among the old partners in the old ratio so the new partner who is getting admitted does not have any right to any profits or liability towards losses up to the date of revaluation up to the date of his admission logic clear so answer is false okay now you are to you have to state the reason as well correct so answer is false what is the reason the reason is that the revaluation profits or losses are transferred to the old partners in the old ratio that's it now let us go to the second question there's a balance sheet of x limited very good preliminary expenses are 5 lakhs security premium is coming at 35 lakhs can the accountant use the balance of SPA to write off preliminary expenses? This answer is slightly tricky. Now, what should the answer be? Answer can be true, correct? And we can write the reason as yes, the accountant can use the security premium account balance to write off preliminary expenses. Why? Because security premium account has five uses. Okay, if you carefully see section 52 of Companies Act 2013, there are five purposes for which security premium account can be used. One of the purposes is to write off preliminary expenses. So it is true. But also we need to understand there is a different set of companies for whom section 133 is applicable. 133 is applicable means they have to comply with the accounting standards those kind of companies cannot use security premium account for writing of preliminary expenses very simple so answer can be either true or false correct but since in this particular case we don't know whether this company has to comply with section 133 we should write it as true why then you can clearly explain there are five purposes for which SPA can be used you need not mention all the five one of those purposes is writing of preliminary expenses so it is true yes the accountant can use the balance done let us go to the third question in 1a insurance claim received on account of plant and machinery completely destroyed by fire damaged by fire it is a they are saying capital receipt answer is true it's a capital receipt why because it is a kind of profit correct and whatever money is coming in that receipt that is coming in is not coming from your daily regular sources of revenue like your sales correct so these kind of receipts even when you normally sell off a fixed asset the money that comes is called a capital receipt only correct when buying fixed asset is a capital expenditure selling fixed asset will be a capital receipt Fi uh, fixed asset destroyed by fire is kind of getting sold right like it is destroyed and insurance company is paying for it it is also a capital receipt true fourth question office furniture 2500 rupees debited to general expense account it is error of omission false because this is error of principle why because furniture and fixture is a balance sheet item whereas your general expenses is a P&L item which means a capital item has been considered as a revenue item these kind of errors are called what errors of principle so answer should be false it is not error of omission why because it is an error of principle because fixed asset is a capital item being treated as general expense which is a revenue item so it is a error of principle next we'll go to the fifth one in 1a 
A Limited is sending goods costing 50,000 rupees to B Limited on consignment basis. Accountant is of the opinion that these goods should be sent under a sales invoice. Answer false. Why false? Because this is about revenue recognition. Revenue, because once you book a sales invoice, revenue is recognized in the P&L account. When should we recognize revenue? When the sale happens or the ownership transfers. That's why you should be very intelligent. When you are studying accounts, you should study it in conjunction with the other subjects. In law, we have sales of sale of goods act. So link this accounts concept to sale of goods also when you are answering. When do we do revenue recognition when ownership of the good is transferred? When the sale is over, when you are sending goods to a consignee, there is no guarantee that the consignee will be able to sell the goods. Again, link this to consignment chapter. In consignment chapter, there is something called closing stock, correct? Which means every time we send the goods to consignee, it is not like consignee is able to sell all the goods. There is some closing stock. Which means just because we send goods to a consignee, we cannot treat it as sales. Correct, na? Because sales happens when consignee gives us a confirmation that he was able to sell. So giving it on a sales invoice is wrong. So what should be your answer? They are saying goods should be sent under sales invoice. You should write false. They should not because we are not in a position to recognize revenue. Why? Because there is no sale that is happening. Then how should they be sent? They should be sent using a consignment note. That should be your answer. Done. Let us go to the sixth one in 1A. A concern proposes to discontinue its business from December. Okay. So uh, dispose of all its plants within three months. Okay. Balance sheet dated 31st December should continue to indicate the plants at historical cost okay as the assets will be disposed of after balance sheet date answer should be false why this is going concern assumption violation normally companies follow going concern assumption means what for foreseeable future matlab jitna time abhi aage dikh raha hai utne time ke liye hum company ko band nahi kar rahe hai so for the foreseeable future we are going to continue in business so we should be following going concern assumption normally but this is not a normal scenario because the company has already decided see proposes to discontinue the business in 2020 from 2020 which means for the foreseeable future you are not going to continue the business going concern assumption is not applicable to you so if going concern assumption is not applicable to you what you should do do not show it at historical cost what cost i should show it at instead of historical cost basis you can go for any different basis like liquidation basis or any other basis but whichever basis you choose to report the plant and machinery and fixed assets at please disclose that basis on which you are going to show so this is a violation of going concern assumption so answer is false you should not be continuing to show it at historical cost instead you should be choosing any other basis like liquidation basis for example but whichever basis please disclose it as per as1 so this completes the answer for the six sub questions in 1a which is true and false with reasoning so watch out for the next video for every question i will make a separate video so that you are conceptually clear and you know exactly how to present it in the exam so again you might be right or wrong in the actual examination what you wrote i don't know don't get emotional okay if your uh, answer is matching with the correct answer excellent Okay, all the best, great. If it's not matching, do not worry. CA Foundation exams have just gotten over. Chill for one week. Whether you did it good or bad, just chill for one week. A week later, I will let you know how to proceed. Okay, how to proceed if you have done very good in the foundation exam. How to proceed if you have not done great. First one week, just chill, calm down, go and do some meditation, play some PUBG, just relax, don't feel tensed at this point in time. Cool? So this is CA Vijay Krishna Dharani, Principal Mentor of Kavach Academy, signing off. Bye-bye.